Oh, creating Christ. Well, he, he, uh, he called me up and he emailed me and, uh, and he's been always a supporter of mine, you know, and uh, backing things that I've done and uh, saying good words about my books. So uh, I think it must have been uh, in the 1990s or some period like that. And um, I think he wanted me to write a recommendation for his book, as I recall. No, my books ignited his imagination. I didn't have to have any discussions with him. I don't think we ever talked and ignited each other's, you know, he read my books. I think I already had expressed that idea in, in, in the book here. I mean, basically, I mean, that's what we're talking about. We talk, we're talking about a Roman imperial messiah, Ab absolutely. And uh, I think that flows right out of my books into his, yeah. In fact, I never thought there was a gap at all, and I was pleased that he did give me a few references, which I thought was nice. Well, that's, that's a reasonable thesis. But um, as I said, I really didn't discuss these things directly with James. He had read my work, and it influenced him somewhat, obviously, and then he put this other aspect of it together in his own unique way, and it's... Uh, quite a convincing presentation, I think. But the praise of the book and the uh, you know backing of the book was because we were very close friends and uh, I allowed him to present. I don't even, don't even remember exactly what words we used, but uh, I'm sure James knows more about it than anyone else. More about it than me, for sure. Because I only, my information stops at the Palestinian borders. Mm -hmm. I don't go across the Mediterranean and I don't go into Greco-Roman territory. I'm only like the scrolls go eastward into northern Syria and places like that. I go there, I go down into Arabia, but I don't go east into, or west rather, into Gaul, Rome, you know, Greece, and other associated places, Spain, Germany, and so on. It's not a matter of being a scholar, look. When you teach at a place called Cal State Long Beach, unlike scholars who teach one or two courses a term and usually their own speciality, so they don't really learn much new when they teach in these courses, they're just teaching what they already know. Cal State, Ronald Reagan, bless his or not bless his soul, inflicted upon our faculty four courses a term by state law, eight courses a year. You had to create eight courses a year and, 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 or not teach the same course over and over and go mad, you know, or you would go mad. And I was able to start creating courses, which I had studied Islam, so I'd come there to do our uh, Islamic law, or rather Islamic civilization. But then I started, they had a course called Intertestament Literature. I said, no one's going to take this course called Intertestament Literature. It didn't fill up. We were back to teaching introduction. So I, I changed it to Dead Sea Scrolls. Then I created a course called Paul and James. And people started to flock into these courses. So I learned everything I knew through teaching courses, term in and term out. I taught the Dead Sea Scrolls for 40 years, nonstop, term in and term out. And you get total control of the materials. And it's from the teaching. And these guys who are very smart, and not, not, nothing wrong with them, aren't forced to do that in these good universities, these high-class universities, the one and two courses a, a year or term universities. I would have just taught Islamic law at, at, at Cal State Long Beach. I would never have created all these other things. Yeah. I read the Gospels for the first time by teaching the New Testament in a New Testament course at Cal State Long Beach. It was never part of my studies. And you teach it for a while, and then you come to, James, who's this character? No one ever told me about him. And you begin to see these new things that you'd never heard of because you're teaching it, you know, day in and day out, year in and year, year out, over and over again. And that's a way, good, tremendous way of absorbing in, information. So I came upon this James from teaching and someone asked me a question as well. Who's James? I said, what? What are you talking about? And then I looked and I suddenly realized, well, who is this James? And then I began to uh, find out.